Hey people, what's up? This is just going to be a little video on me showing you the graphic settings I use to make my game look the way it is because a few people have actually mentioned that how do I achieve my how do I achieve this look of my game? Like how do I do it? Which settings do I use? And truth be told, I don't have any secret settings that I use to make my game look like this. Th these are just the settings that that the game client offers you. Here I'll show you. Everything on this menu is basically on ultra. My roofs is on selective. My draw distance is ultra, my shadow quality is on high, I use MSAA, and I think that's a that's a higher quality version of, F, of FXAA. It just gives you, it gives objects in the world a little bit more of a, a rounder edge instead of like a blocky one. So instead of seeing sort of like a, a, a pixely outline of something like my character, it's going to be nice and smoothed out as if, as if it were real, basically, I guess. I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But if you look closely at the outline of my character, it's a little bit more pixely. You can see a little bit of a distortion, I guess. You can sort of notice it in the eyes right here. Now let me just turn on MSAA, put it back on Ultra, and you can see the difference in the eyes. There's no more uh, sort of distorted outlines around my character. That's basically all it does. So that's that. I use Ultra Water, which honestly, I don't even tell a difference between High Water and Ultra Water. I just use Ultra because it's the highest setting. I use ultra lighting. Once again, I don't really notice a difference on high or ultra. I just use ultra because it's there. I don't use ambient occlusion because ambient occlusion actually really, really slows down my computer and pretty much anybody's computer because what it does, it sort of adds shadow to like creases in, in game objects. It's kind of hard to explain because I don't know how the mechanic works exactly, but it basically gives more shadow to the game and it makes things look a little bit more, uh, more detailed. It gives a little bit more depth. I don't run VSync because it actually slows down my FPS and I have to keep a constant 60 when I'm recording so so that's off. And I use high bloom. I'm a big fan of bloom. I like seeing shiny objects on screen. I'm, I really like color. I like vibrance. So that's why I use high bloom. I don't see much of a difference between low and high bloom. And everything on this side is ticked except the custom cursor because whenever I record for some reason it uh, my, my mouse on the video looks a little bit messed up. So yeah that's basically it. That's the settings I use to make my game look nice. Like I said, it's no secret, the options are there. You can do it yourself, it just sort of determines on how powerful your computer is, if you have a good graphics card, a good CPU, a good amount of RAM and such. And I'll give you a sort of like a recommendation on what settings you could use, I guess sort of like on an average computer, because my computer is not your average computer, it is pretty big, it is pretty powerful. So with low draw distance, you can pretty much see not very far. If I turn that up to medium, the, it increases a little bit, you can see a little bit more trees, maybe the little tree houses things up there, you can see it now. If I turn that to high, you can definitely see way more trees in the background, more of the tree houses back there. And if I turn it on to, uh, to ultra, you can really see, really see far back there, and I think that's the grand tree itself up there. So yeah, it, it makes a huge difference. Without AA, you can see that the outline on my figure is a little bit blocky sort of distorted like I mentioned earlier. So now let me turn on MSAA and you can see the huge difference. There you go, no more fuzziness around the character. It's nice and smooth as well as every other object in the game like this tree. See this outline of the tree? It's nice and smooth. I'll show you water next. This is what low water looks like. It doesn't, this is not water. Obviously this is not water. Turn it up to medium water. You now get a little bit of the ripples. It still looks, it still looks kind of muddy. So let's turn that up to high. That's basically what water looks like on Ultra. I honestly don't see a difference between High and, and Ultra, and I'll show you that right now. That's basically it. Nothing has changed whatsoever. Moving on to lighting. All it does is sort of add lighting to objects. It makes some, some parts of the, the objects look lighter so that it looks like the sun is hitting it in that direction. And I'll show you right here with this tree. I'll turn it up to medium. And it made this side lighter so that this side looks like it's shadowy as if the sun was coming from that direction. I really don't see a difference between medium and high. All I think it does is increase the the lighting on trees like this whole side right here onto more trees in the background. That's all I think it does. I honestly don't see much of a difference. And moving on to ultra on lighting, it's the same thing. I honestly see no difference whatsoever. The trees look exactly the same as they, as they did in medium. And moving on to bloom, I use high just because it makes flickering objects and torches and whatnot a little bit more brighter. Now you just add the shadows and boom. There you go, nice beautiful shadows. You add the you add the textures, and now you have those nice crisp 
ground textures as well as the tree textures, the fence textures, pretty much everything in the game that looks nice. And last but not least is the shadow quality. All of this does is make the shadows a little bit more crisp. It defines the outline of the shadows better so that they look a little bit more accurate to what to the actual object. And on top of that, it actually increases the shadows in the distance. So more trees in the background will have more shadows the higher the, the quality. I personally think having ultra shadows is kind of stupid because you only see the shadows around you. There's no point in having shadows all the way back there because you're not even back there. And even when the shadows are on ultra just so that you can see the detail on them on the floor right next to you, it's kind of pointless because you're not paying attention to the floor, you know? You're paying attention to whatever you're doing. So some tips on your graphic settings if you don't have a super powerful computer. And obviously you don't need a super power computer. As long as you have an average and above average computer, you can pretty much run these uh, graphic tips that I'm going to tell you right now. So what I think are pretty good settings is having your draw distance to either medium because it's kind of pointless to see all the way back there. You're focusing on whatever is in front of you, not all the way in the background. I think shadow quality should stick to medium because, like I said, if your draw distance is on medium, there's no point in having shadows all the way back there because you can't see them anyways. And these shadows are already crisp enough, in my opinion, there's no need to add further detail. And for AA, you really don't notice much of a difference when you're playing the game between FXAA and MSAA. When you're playing the game, like I said, you're focusing on whatever you're doing. You're not looking for blocky edges. So having FXAA is not a bad idea. It's a I would actually recommend it because when you're running around, you can't notice the edges. You really can't. When I'm turning the camera, I don't notice anything. You can't even notice it if the, the camera's still. So definitely having that on at least medium is pretty much okay. Because as you can see, the game still looks nice. I'm turning the camera, you can't really notice the difference. The game still looks beautiful. As far as lighting and water go, I honestly see no difference between high and ultra lighting, or even medium for that matter. So honestly, I would go with medium lighting. The game still looks nice. Nothing has changed, honestly, with medium lighting. Everything looks the same. And for bloom, if you like vibrant colors, I would just suggest medium. Because I think in places where there's a lot of bloom, like the like the Ganodormic, Ganodormic cave or whatever that those beasts are called. That place has a lot of bloom and it will hit your FPS. So having it on medium or even low is good. It, you're not going to see much of a difference. And yeah, that's pretty much the settings I use and my recommendations for you. This game can look nice with very simple settings. You don't have to have everything on ultra to make the game look beautiful. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. If this helped you out, if you like your new runescape, go ahead and drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.